So, uh, Matthew, what, tell me, tell me um, a little bit more about the argument or the, the, the case. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I have people call me all the time and ask me about uh, liberal arts colleges versus big universities, and you know we're here at Millsaps. How do you describe or how do you make the point that kids ought to go or at least consider sure. a small liberal arts college like sure. Millsaps? Sure. Well, first of all, I mean, one of, one of the broad, broad things that we always try and communicate to students and families and that we'd like for them to understand is at its core for this issue of, of fit, first of all. So, so regardless of what book ranks you know, any institution, in what category, for what reasons, ultimately, you know, the, the, the choice for you should be about fit. And so for us, you know, if that's a smaller, rigorous liberal arts college in the environment that we have here, then, then that's fantastic. I mean, we think educationally we do things a lot different. And as a consequence, we think that's a better choice for a lot of students. But whether families or students determine that um, a liberal arts college is quote unquote you know, better than a state university, that ultimately is going to be their, their decision. And I think it's based largely on fit. Now, mm -hmm. so first of all, you know, we, we, we try to get that out there. Secondly, though, why do we think it's, you know, what's different about it, and then why do we think that translates into a little bit better education? Because, you know, I, I, I think most people would not argue that in the realm of higher education, from learning, learning styles, learning outputs, that bigger is better. I mean, I don't know any higher ed professional that says large classrooms with limited interaction with faculty members, that that's a good thing. Um, I don't know anybody who's out there saying that. Um, now, you know, we're not advocating that, you know, that you remain in some small sheltered shell, you know, uh, and, and attend a small school where that might be the case, but we also think that the opposite is true at Liberal Arts College, that small doesn't mean sheltered, uh, and classrooms uh, are highly energetic and highly interactive the smaller they get. Uh, and I think that's, that's something that people need to understand too. So if you want to be an active participant in your education, if you don't want to sit back and sort of let it happen to you, um, then that is a smaller environment. That's, I think that's a liberal arts college. If you are into picking apart everything that you find interesting, you know, if you're curious about learning, if you want to learn to really critically think about issues and periods of time and what your place in the world is and how you've been influenced and how you may influence others, then, then that's a liberal arts education. You know, this, this sort of issue of this smorgasbord of, of opportunities that you can pick and you can take sort of all over the map. By the way, whether or not it is specifically outlined in a catalog or not, that's the beauty of a liberal arts college. And so, you know, we don't feel bound by a specific degree program, whether we have it or, or whether we don't have it, to get you as a student where you need to be according to your calling, mm -hmm. what you feel compelled to do or who you think you are. So we sort of ask people to consider really big questions. Who are you? What do you think you want to do as a human being? And then as a vocation, and then as a career, right. and then leading to paychecks or what have you, but it starts much broadly than that. You know, well, that. That's us. And on that issue, I mean, I think some parents come to me or and to my colleagues and, uh, and are worried about whether or not their kids are going to get a job. So mm -hmm. if I go to a liberal arts college and I get this kind of traditional liberal de arts right. degree that maybe I'm majoring in English or I'm majoring in psychology right. or, or just plain old biology, how is that going to get me right. a job in the 21st century? Right. I need to have a skill. Yeah, You've had the same conversation with parents that we've had. Maybe yes. we've all talked to the same parents. I think so. Actually, I, I think the more diverse the world becomes, the more diverse economies become, but yet at the same time, you know, different countries, different cultures, different economies are much more intertwined than they ever have been. You know, I believe that you know, gone are those days that you can be skilled in an area and that that will set you up for the rest of your life. I mean, people are going to change careers, let alone jobs, what, four or five, six times, I think most of the literature says. And so if you are not versed at understanding how to tackle issues, uh, you know, prescribe solutions and implement those solutions, and that's a liberal arts education, that is critical thinking, um, then it's going to be, we think, a tougher road to hoe. Uh, in a liberal arts education, you're going to graduate with a degree in business if you want to, mm -hmm. uh, a place like Millsats where you can get an accounting degree, uh, where you can get an MBA here, uh, or you can get a degree in classics or history 
or you can be a pre-med student and go to medical school. I mean, the fact of a liberal arts education stereotypically has this sort of, oh, you're going to be a history major, or you're going to study Shakespeare for four years, and then you're going to get out, and what are you going to do? You know, that whole joke about pizza delivering, you know, and that sort of thing. I think it's exactly the opposite. The more broad-based your education is, especially in the type of uh, um, sort of you know intertwined world economy that we have now, the better off you are. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, we think it's exactly the reason why you ought to look at a liberal arts education now, even versus 10 years ago. It's more important now than ever. I mean, so I think the point actually is, this is the best time for that type of, of education. Um, so that's really, really important for us. And yes, we graduate people, and for parents out there who are uh, worried, you will graduate and you can get a job. You know, you, you can do those things. Um, no matter what area uh, in, in any economy that you want to, to make your living, education or you know, in the business tech community, you have to be able to critically think and you have to be able to communicate mm -hmm. and articulate um, issues and solutions and things of that nature. And that's what we do.